Hello everybody, Jerome Wright here, and once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel, here on YouTube. Alright, I am uh, I have a video out already, this is a Peruvian burial stone that was found and it depicts mankind with that of dinosaur kind, and they're on a stone. It's my position that through my paranormal experience and encounter, that the reason why this dinosaur is appearing on this stone is because the stone is in the shape or represents that of the dinosaur egg, the dinosaur cells. The dinosaur, which um, was on our planet some 90 plus or to 100 plus million years ago, were in an abundance. What these stones are telling us is, to, is, is exactly what they mean. That mankind evolved from this creature. Before there was mankind on our planet, there were dinosaurs. This was the living source. That and our oceanic creatures of this world. So people, you take away the lies that we were told on how we became into this world through religious values and how God placed us here. If you take away all of that, then you can see through the smoke screen that mankind evolved from the creatures that have now become, they're not extinct. They became us. And that's what these Peruvian burial stones are telling us in that reality sense. And this is the gap between who we are and what we once were. This is what has happened to us. Now, I'm going to show you, once you lift your blinders, the smoke screen veil is, 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 is uh, released as well. In this particular image, where there's a dinosaur in the front of the man pulling at the leg, then there's one at the back. If you look at the dinosaur that's in the back pulling, you will notice, I highlight, did some highlights, that that dinosaur in the back has a face of an ape right there. And in between that, there's other faces. There's a face of a woman, which I have highlighted as well, too. I don't know how much it, I'm looking at this from the back. There are multi-dimensional faces in here. So this is a very, all you have to do is Google Peruvian burial stones. And the dinosaur pulling at the leg, and look at the one that's pulling on the back, and you'll see that this elongated face creates that of a monkey's face. The eyes up here, the nose, the face. You know what it's telling you, people? That through the body of the dinosaur, I'm going to tell you the story behind this right quick. It's saying that, let me, let me tell you, the dinosaur, this is the dinosaur's egg. It's saying that through the cells of the dinosaur came ape, not just any ape. This is a reptilian ape. The closest example that we have of this reptilian ape today is the Mandarin ape, which is in Africa. And on top of that, you will also see that reptilian ape on in Egyptian glyphs. I think it's in the tomb of Seti or whatever it is, that green ape. You know what that green represents? A reptilian a reptilian ape and then it shows you a woman back there who I dub as a mother of creation but also i.e. Medusa and it's showing you that between that between those two chemistries came the image of mankind if you look at this man and if you look at other um, 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 beings on those Peruvian stones you know what they look like they have the faces of dinosaurs of witches of creatures that look like they do not Conform to being that of what mankind is. How can these Peruvians make the face of a dinosaur so unique and so looking like a dinosaur, like Godzilla, and then screw up their own likeness? No, they didn't. You know what they're telling you? That at once upon a time, they were deformed because of the fact that they evolved through this creature. So before we became what we are today in our likeness and our so-called good looks, we look like the monster from which we evolved. And that's what this is describing. There are multi-dimensional images in here that are read as a readable grail that'll show you who you are. I'm gonna bring that in closer so you can see that monkey's face here. Teeth and all, nostrils, eyes, and then right behind him is the mother of creation that looks like the reptile woman, a reptilian Medusa. You see that people? Now I have another one here. Is this this one? My, oh, this one is highlighted a little bit better. Let me bring this in because there's a, this one is highlighted a little bit better. You see that? 
the nostrils. This is a reptilian ape right there. Eyes. I highlighted that the face, and then I put the the Dudley Do Right chin on this woman. You see that? Her lips, her nose, her eyes. You see that? Then there's other multi-dimensional images in there over here. You see this? Showing you how the genes from that cocktail came over to here and to this guy. And then it's showing you, you know what this knife represents? Not this guy killing a dinosaur that existed 90 million years ago and we didn't exist. You know what it's showing you? The knife represents and the axes and the other one. They represent splicing back into the gene from which they, the origins of their genes. Why would they be splicing into these genes? Is it because it's showing you from how from the, um, um, Reptilian ape, how from our black ancestors and our Asian ancestors became the Caucasian likenesses. It's showing you from one culture to the next how the next culture was created of civilized people. That's what this is showing us. That's what this is showing us. Yep. Yeah. That's what this is all showing us. From one civilization to the next, it's showing us how we were created. And it has nothing to do with a godly figure coming in and doing this. Alright, um, there's another image of dinosaurs that I want to show you before I close this video out. I don't, I don't know the source of this image. You see this? You might have seen this before. I don't know if that's Greek or Roman writing. I don't know what that is. Hebrew, I don't know what it is. Okay, you be the judge of that. Notice that you have these three figures down here. One, two, three. Notice that they're reaching into the butt of the dinosaur and pulling something out. You know what they're describing, people? They're describing that they're extracting genes from that of a dinosaur. A female dinosaur and they're taking cells from her body through the egg. That's what this is describing. And they're carrying, they're bridging themselves with these. They're not actually with the dinosaur. You know what they're telling you? That an ancient gene of a dinosaur. This is representing a continent. Now, if you look closely at the image, hold on, let me see if I can find the other. If you look closely at, there's the head of a dinosaur here which I get, ran out of ink and there's another head of a dinosaur there's one down here I think there's another one coming in up here all right now do you know what these shields are representing that they are carrying they're they're shielding themselves from this ancient gene they're carrying off these genes and they're being shielded through a genetic bridging process now I'm going to show you something because in this dinosaur right here, you can possibly already see it, that this dinosaur head has an encryption in its face. All of them, they have encryptions in there. I'm gonna pull up a face for you. Um, here, in this dinosaur here, there is a black face. I'm gonna see if I can turn this for you to see. Chin, mouth, nose, and eye encoded. You see that? Faces encrypted in the image. Now, hold on because it gets better. Let me bring up another one. Ah, here. In the neck of this dinosaur. I'm going to turn this up. And you should be able to see a face in here. Let me see if I can I have to look backwards. I'm looking backwards, people, so it's not, you can probably see the faces in the body of that dinosaur. Hold on, let me come in. Look at the face, the faces in his body. Notice these different lines, these varying lines. You know what they're showing you? Faces. Different stages of morphine beings and showing you the extraction, showing you the creatures. They're not discussing in the dinosaur. You know what they're discussing? the creatures that evolve in a closer proximity to the dinosaur. If you actually look at it, you can almost see that there is another being laying in the belly of the dinosaur 
and stressed out. And these people are showing you that they're taking the, the concocted genes from that. From creatures that evolved on a closer proximity of the dinosaur. I'm going to see if I can bring you up a better picture of that. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Because seeing is believing. Um, let me get us another head up here. Ah, whenever you're doing these videos. Oh, I want to show you something else about this image as well, too. I'm going to show you something else about this image. If you notice that this being here standing, this is a close up with the shield. The face is supposed to be right here in a darkened area looking this way. But people, if you look on the back of his head in his neck area, there's a second head showing you that it has two heads. One, the darker one looking this way, and then the lighter version pointing this way. You know what it's showing you people? Sets of genes in directions that they are going through a genetic bridging. A two-headed person. Look. Look closely. And it describes which genes are being carried. Of a black um, African male. And then on this side, the altered genes. You see that? A face here. This is the actual face. There's not supposed to be no face on the back. Because this is the back of the body. This is the front. So the front face is here. So it has, what is it doing with two heads? And there's another one there too. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Let me show you another one. Um, oh gosh. I can go on and on and on. I'm going to show you some. These are poor images. Um, hold on, people. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back to something else here. Because I was going to highlight these and I didn't. Oh, here's a face right here. I'm going to highlight this face. I'm going to show you something. Let me get a, a pen. I'm going to highlight a face for you. Highlighted a face in the body of the dinosaur. Um, right, right in there. Can you see that face in there? Chin, mouth, eye, nose, eye. You see that, people? There is also the head. There's a body of a lion in there. I'm gonna show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can get that line. Let me see if I can get that line. This is backwards, showing me something backwards. But if you notice that the back half of the dinosaur actually creates another creature, like a creature crawling in, you see this would be the shoulder area, the arm, that would create a face going up. Up closer up here is another creature up here. You see that? Like a monkey right there. You see the face and the arm coming up? It's showing you d genes which you described. Through, which came first through the body of the dinosaur, which would include that of the ape. It's describing lion genes bridged over with the ape, and it's showing you pulled genes from that pool and carried off. Each one of these descriptions are describing, these paintings dealing with dinosaurs, are describing how the ancient genes of the dinosaur, which we evolved from, were genetically altered and gen genetically bridged through time. A secret that has always been kept from the masses of people why a select few always enjoyed having that knowledge. Ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty. These manipulated genes. Each ancient culture describes how they were genetically altered through the process of those ancient procured genes. And that's what this is all about. Each one of these images, I don't care whether it's on a wall um, do I have any more images here? What else do I have? Let me see something. I'm going to have to close this video out. My time is just about up. Oh, here. Let me do that face again, that, that African face again. Because that's, this is a, this is a, hold on. 
This is a dinosaur's head over here, right there. But if you turn it, look at the head up here of that African face. This is a dinosaur's head. So what is an African face? Eye, nose, mouth, head right there. What is that doing appearing there? It's describing the location of the genes. All right, I have to go. I'll put more in writing. Thank you. I'm going to end that video there.